Hello, I'm Chicho. Welcome to Environmental News and Views. We're in December 2007, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, also better known as Turtle Island. We're here to talk about colony collapse disorder, why the bees are dying. Now we're in winter, well, coming on to winter, we're in fall, late fall. It's cold, rains a lot, you won't see a lot of bees around. They're all cuddled up inside their hive, staying warm, waiting for spring to pop up. That's normal. What's not normal is not seeing bees in the spring and the summer, which is exactly what's been going on for the last two years. Since 2006, beekeepers across North America, and now in Europe, have been noticing that their bees are disappearing. In certain areas, up to 80% of bees are gone. Now, why is this important to us? The reason is we use bees to pollinate our crops. Now, we get our fruits and vegetables from that pollination. So if the bees are dying, if 80% of the bees are dying in certain parts of Europe or North America, then what's going to happen is crop yields are going to drop and there's going to be food shortages. So our lives, the way we consume food, our lifestyle is directly connected with the bees. Um, now, you can consider this as bad news or good news. The bad part is that the bees are dying and this is a serious epidemic and there's uh, a lot of scientists looking at this trying to figure out what's going on. Um, some people blame it on electromagnetic radiation, some people blame it on genetically modified crops, uh, pesticides, herbicides, uh, whatever it is, everyone seems to agree that it is what we as human beings are doing to the environment that is causing the bees to die. Now if that's the case, that's the bad side. The good side is we're noticing this early. Within two years we've noticed this epidemic. If any other insect was dying to the level that the bees are dying, we wouldn't have noticed it. Now, Albert Einstein is credited with stating that if the bees die, human beings will die within four years. If the bees disappear, then other species will disappear, our fruits and vegetables will disappear, and that affects us and we will disappear. Now, four years may be pushing it, but it will directly affect us and there's going to be food shortages with the bees dying. So we need to make sure that we reduce the harm that we're doing to the environment so that we, the bees will have basically a nice home to play in, a nice home to live in. Because if the bees stay happy, we stay happy. Now this was just a quick intro to colony collapse disorder. Uh, I've got an article written on Chicho TV which is going to be below the video and that contains a lot of links and summarizes everything we talked about in this video. So you should uh, go through that article and possibly follow the links if you want additional information. And you can also do a search on Google video under CCD colony collapse disorder and there is a ton of information there and all the resources that you're going to need to inform yourself and hopefully take action and uh, help stop colony collapse disorder because the bees are our friends.